Highlands Football Club, more commonly known as Airdrie, were a Scottish professional football team from the town of Airdrie, in the Monklands area of Lanarkshire. The club became defunct at the end of the Scottish Football League 2001-02 season, despite the team finishing as runners-up in the SFL First Division to Partick Thistle and therefore only narrowly missing out on promotion to the Scottish Premier League. During their 124-year existence the Diamonds, as they were nicknamed, won the Old Scottish Division 2 three times, the Spring Cup once and the Scottish Challenge Cup on three occasions. The club also competed in four separate Scottish Cup finals, winning the competition in 1924. Airdrie Eonians were the first club in the Scottish League to fold since 1967, when third Lanark went bankrupt. The new Airdrie Eonians Football Club were formed in 2002 as Airdrie United Football Club following the liquidation of the original club. The club's official name was changed in 2013 with the approval of the SFA to the traditional name of Airdrie Eonians. As with the earlier team of the same name, this is often colloquially shortened to simply Airdrie. The club have won two trophies in their short history, the Scottish Second Division in 2003-04 and the Challenge Cup in 2008-09. Once described as the luckiest team in the Scottish League, three, the club have benefited in league division placements, due to other clubs' misfortunes, on three occasions, 2008, 2009 and 2012. Hi and welcome to the save. Today we're going to start a series on Airdrie Football Club. Um, as you heard there was a brief history of Airdrie just before, so the club's only been going since 2002. So I won a couple of trophies, so we're hoping to build on the success. So let's start with the, the meeting of the chairman. Uh, I always do this because it upsets me you don't, so I attend the meeting. Let's get, let's get started with the meeting. Um, well, yes, uh, yeah, it sounds like a plan. As mentioned in the welcome message, a couple of us. I don't feel we need to discuss any of that. Uh, yeah, we'll do a press conference. Okay. Uh, let's speak to Andy Gorham, a uh, former Rangers legend. Usually arrange a meeting for the rest of the staff. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we'll get them to take control of the friendlies and match all training for all squads. Um, don't really understand how training works in this game yet, so I'll have a look at it in the future. And we'll go with that. I don't think we need anything else. So, that's that. So, transfer update. We've got Connor Scallon on loan from Hamden. One of our players out on loan. And responsibilities, you can see there. Da da da. The background. So, apparently, in 2000, I said before in the wee blob at the beginning there. And we'll have a look at the report. So we'll be impressive to the decision makers. We've got quite a few midfielders, quite a few youth prospects. £950 for wages, 10 grand to spend, transfer revenue, so not a lot of money, but not bad for the league we're in. So a decent player in his position, Daniels is about as interesting for a right back, so we might need to look at the right back. There's not a good depth outside the first team, so we need to grow in the youth team and bring that. We've only got one goalkeeper, so we might need to bring somebody else in there. So that can be avoided. So we need some more leadership. I think that's down to quite a young team. So that's leads us on. Let's have a look at the squad here. So we'll go on current ability. We've got Jack Leach, 20 year old. As you can see with the squad, actually. Most players, we've got one there, 33, um, a 30 year old and a 30, most people um, are done about 3 or 4, or under the age of 22, um, so there is, there is maybe a bit of experience needed in the squad, um, but as you can see, Jack Leach, Connor Billy, as 
nearly five star for this division. Remember, this is for playing the Scottish um, Division One, which is the third tier of Scottish football. So you can see, Alex is not a bad player. Um, he's got good mentals. The physicals are not bad for as I get say for this division, and you can see the technicals are there. But with his work rate and determination and given some game time, I think he will develop into a really good midfielder. Um, and he's got some Premier League experience with Motherwell. So he looks he looks a decent player. And then we've got Andy Ryan, twenty one year old again. Quite a young player. Uh, again, technicals looking pretty good. Uh, his mentals not bad at all. And his physicals kind of stack up there. Again, another player with his what great and determination, given some game time, the right training, he could actually develop into a pretty good player. Next we've got Ryan Convey, one of the more experienced players on the team. Um, again, not too bad in the physicals. At his age, he's not going to get really improved very much, so just a solid player to have in this division. And as you can see, he's got experience in the Premier League. Uh, championship for the last couple of seasons, so he's came down the levels for this season. Again, Rowan Ferguson, he's getting a lot of headlines in Scotland just now, great young keeper. Um, you can see there, his goalkeeping, pretty good. Work great again, 11, and his determination 11. So, given enough game time, the right training, this guy will develop. I need a good goalkeeper. Um, so he's, he's well suited to the league we're in just now, but as I say, I hope he does develop. So, as you can see, so we've got quite a few young players. Um, we're going to have to have a look. they uh, bringing a bit of experience in and obviously building on what we've got. Here's another good young player, 22 year old, Kieran McDonald. Again, decent in the physicals, mental is okay. So, under 21s, let's have a look here, under 20, sorry. So, nothing, no one ready to play right now. Um, these guys are useful, maybe can get some game time um, in the cups or whatever. So, we've got here um, Craig Truesdale. He is not bad, nothing really there that stands out. But he is only 16. We also got Aaron Ross. Again, decent in the physicals. Um, what rate 6 kind of lets him down there and the determination of 7. But again, 16 year old. Um, worth getting an eye on and see how they develop. So, let's have a look at the staff now. So, staff wise, we've got myself and we've got Andy Gorham, former Rangers goalkeeper. We've got no scouting team whatsoever. Um, we've got a couple of a doctor and a physio. So this is something we've got to look at. The best goalkeeping coach in the division. Um, but basically really poor than everything else. So these are voids I'm going to have to fill. We've got four spaces there. Um, what I like to do is bring in a director of football. And I'll use a director of football to then um, get the staff in for me. It's not something I do myself. Um, but we'll come back to that later on in the video. So, I think I'm going to score. Let's look at the schedule. So, we've got a few friendlies arranged. Um, and I think we'll have the Scottish League Cup kicking off before here. Yeah, it's just not been put in yet. And that will probably give us a few games there um, and what I'll probably do is I'll come back to that later once these games are played um, and tactics tactics I've got a couple of tactics saved that I've used with all of teams um, mainly Rangers so they go 3-5-3 three, three. Um, I'm going to use that as my Tactic there, and then I'm going to also use 
the three two three one. So now give it my two tactics. There you go mentality, there you go attacking, shape, very fluid, and if you look at obstructions here, we're going to exploit the flanks, we're going to play out of defence, um, hit core crosses early, we're going to go for mixed crosses, moderate passing, closing down on this one, play fairly narrow, higher tempo, more often. And we'll get stuck in as well. This division, I think, is going to be the way it's not pretty football and the, the Scottish first division. Right, let's have a look here. So, again, I've got 4 3 3, and we'll go with a more on this one, and we'll go with a more counter attacking. Keep it to be a bit fluid, and we'll look again. So I'm going to go for a shorter passion here, we'll play slightly higher, higher tempo, we'll play fairly wide with this because we've got wingers there, we'll take in possession and we'll exploit the flanks again, put the ball in the box and look for the warm ups. Um, so we'll also get stuck in, um, prevent that going out and we'll always go with the pushing on the teams just how I like to play and then we've got our team report squad depth as you can see here could really do another goalkeeper to come in and give Ferguson some backup I'm not going to bring in somebody too much better to take over from because I do want him to progress as a player so left back we've got a couple of options there. Um, Kieran's going to start at left back. Um, we've got Daniel Botang, former Arsenal player, and that's Mark Fitzpatrick and Joel Gorman. Uh, sort of three centre halves there. I may look at bringing somebody in just to add a bit of experience there. Um, a bit more weight to it. Then moved up to midfield, right back. Sorry, right back is somewhere we're going to have to try and improve. So we then look at the midfield. You can see we've got Ryan there and Jack and Mark can play there as well. So quite a lot of strength in the midfield there. Um, so we're not really looking to strengthen here. We're also going to have to suit with this formation. We're going to have to bring in... Um, couple of wingers and an attack midfielder up front slightly right there as well so we'll just have to look and see who we can get which I'll what I'll do is I'll go on I'll have a look for a few players I'll go on a month or so and, and I'll come back for the first game in the Scottish League Cup and um, I'll see you when I come back guys thanks